What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Get into another reaction. New episodes this weekend. Finally getting to them right on time. It's a beautiful Sunday. We're just chilling, getting some chores done, watching some fucking anime. You love to see it. We're getting into One Piece first. Episode 1103. Bro, this shit is heating up. Every episode is just inching more and more towards into like the crazy stuff in the arc. And it just excites me so much, obviously, because I'm a manga reader. And there's definitely some certain moments that I'm looking forward to. But also, like I always say, it's kind of still like a fresh watch because these chapters are like a long time ago. Or at least it feels like it because there's breaks and they only come out once a week so it's been a good amount of like weeks behind where this episode where these episodes are compared to where the manga is so i don't remember every little fucking detail especially because i'm one to like kind of read fast whenever i read manga i don't pay attention well, I, it's not, i'm not saying i don't pay attention but i don't like scrutinize or fuck i'm not trying to figure out every little minor detail like that's for that's what the anime does its justice for like brings it fully to life you notice things for the first time or they present it in a way that's a lot clearer than just reading it in a black and white format still image of course too you know what i'm saying uh so i feel like the anime always brings the full picture and what oda or the story is really trying to get across and it's really it's full product and so you always notice some new things or you're reminded of new things and it still feels like a fresh new watch even though i know the content that's coming at least the big pieces you know what i'm saying so it's so much fun last episode we got a little bit of kuma seeing him again and how he just was fucking out and he's headed straight to the red line literally crash landed into the bitch and then you know we hear like on the megaphone like you know everybody's like putting warnings out or the Navy or whoever is putting a warning out like, yo, be careful, it's dangerous. Like, we don't know his current programming. Like, watch the fuck out. We don't know what's going on. So he's got somewhere to fucking be. Like, he's he's on a, he's a man on a mission. For whatever reason, we don't know what it is yet. Uh, but he is fucking, like, he feels like he has to fucking get wherever he wants to go, like, immediately. So we saw that. Saw a little bit more of Rob Lucci and the gang, CP0. They got control of the Seraphim now. Uh, they were like, fuck, how are we going to get past this fucking, you know, defense system at Punk Records because Luffy and them got up there. All of Luffy's crew's up there now, including Vegapunk and the fucking uh, satellites. They're like, okay, how the fuck are we going to get up there? At the same time, Vegapunk and them, they're talking about their escape plan and, you know, Luffy's crew kind of coming to terms with like, oh shit, we're about to actually bring this motherfucker and his, I mean, all of Vegapunk's for that matter, onto our ship. That's a fucking heavy burden. Like, we already are an Emperor's crew. We already got the Navy's eyes on us. But now we're gonna have their eyes on us even more. You know what I'm saying? Not just the Navy, but just like fucking higher ups in the world government because Dr. Dr. Vegapunk is such a big name. And he's been with them for so long, and he's done so much for them. So they can't just let somebody like that scot free. So we saw that, and then somebody, uh, an another ally that's on the island apparently is gonna come help out. Can't remember who that is. That's really fucking bugging me. So hopefully we we'll figure that out sometime soon. I, God, dude, that shit. Yeah, I can't remember, bro. But that's see, that's another thing. I'll find out. Uh, once again in the anime, and it feels like a nice fresh watch. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, that's fucking right. Like I love moments like that. And then what else did we see? I feel like we saw a little bit of something else. I think that's about it. But towards the end of the episode, uh, we saw, you know, Luffy and Bonnie and Bonnie's obviously still pissed at Vegapunk. And he's like, I'm going to fuck them up. They're heading to where the rest of them are at. And then Rob Lucci and then somebody let down the defense system. The defense system all of a sudden just went down. So somebody is fuck. There's a fucking rat somewhere. There's got to be because they're, everybody's like, who the fuck did this shit? Nobody was in the control room. They're like, how the fuck? Like, who, who would put the system down? Like, nobody would willingly let Rob Lucci and the rest of them come up. But someone wanted them to come up. So they take their chance. They're up in punk records now. They see Luffy's ship. They're like, okay, let's go destroy that shit real quick. Be careful. Be fucking careful. There's some motherfuckers on that ship, especially one motherfucker that is not playing any games and will defend that ship no matter what. Not saying Brooke will, Brooke will obviously do the same, but we're talking about first mate. We're talking about right hand man, vice captain, Zoro. Be fucking careful. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's where we ended off. That's what we're getting into. Hopefully, we, you know, we get right back where we left off. Or maybe we check out some other stuff. Like, again, we haven't seen Law and Blackbeard in a minute. Hopefully, we get back to that at some point. Um, and then also, Sabo's conversation. We haven't gotten back to that in a long time. It's been a couple weeks. But yeah, I'm excited for the episode. Let's get the reaction. 
If you guys enjoy it, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. One Piece 1103. All right, looks like Bonnie's gonna be able to actually confront Vegapunk again this episode. Yes, right back to this. Let's all talk about it, baby. Be careful. Be careful, Luigi. Good luck. My man's a slumped. <laughs> he's coming. He's gonna be woken up in a rude way. <laughs> Brooks is doing chores and shit. What a good guy. Just doing the work that nobody else wants to do. Okay. All right, Kaku. Break dancing on their asses in the air. Holy shit, that looks crazy. <laughs> I told you, y'all fucking with the wrong person. He's like, God damn it, I gotta do shit right now. You see how he got up? <laughs> you ain't destroying nothing, bitch. You ain't destroying nothing, bruh. Both the swordsmen of the crew. You ain't doing shit to this ship, I promise you. Yep. And you woke his ass up from a good sleep. Yeah, they got beef. Yeah, what happened to that? What happened to that, bro? I guarantee you, it's still not better than this man's, even right now. We'll run the fade again. We'll run it again. That's that's fine. Jeriff Raff. <laughs> First time he used Ashura. Oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Run that shit, bro. Wait, it's coming back up. Okay, well, they reactivated it. So only those three are up there. They have no other support. And the Seraphim didn't get up there, right? The Seraphim are still down there? <laughs> the live feed. Y'all better see an ass whooping. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Don't worry, Shaka. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, Lil Lilith's been looking for the smoke, bro. Are they finally gonna reunite with Nami and them? Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah, finally. <laughs> yep, they've already been informed. Yep. Yeah, they already here. One of y'all members taking care of him right now. Or both, two of them. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Even more stress. <laughs> okay, yeah, she's really on his ass. <laughs> Come on, just listen to him, bruh. God damn, she is not fucking around. Holy shit, bro. She was not holding back on that fucking swing. 
She's made up her mind. She's she's got her conviction. And she's like, all right, you can't do that. And I'm I, that's what I want to do. I want to kill you. You can't turn my father back to normal. All right, bet. Pissed. Pissed off. If you're not fucking around, bro. Here we go. Na 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 na. Oh, this is a flashback. He still has his head. We're back to the present? Yeah. Is she trying to bait him? I think she's trying to bait him. She's acting. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> she turning him into a baby? What are all those crystals and shit that came out, though? Oh. Bro, she she not gonna fucking let up until you tell her. She has a right to know. Oh, back to Kuma. He's climbing the red line. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make sense, but we're getting really close to the point where I, I mean, she's getting really close to finding out what really happened. Just a matter of how the fuck he's gonna tell her. I don't, I don't know when it's gonna happen too. I don't know how close we are, but she's determined to find the fuck out. Like I said, she deserves to know. Damn! <laughs> Just threw his ass down. <laughs> Child abuse! <laughs> Oh no, is that what I think it is, bro? Why would you say that? That means it obviously has something to do with Kuma. It even has the paw print on the door, bro. Like, fuck! Yeah, you can't fucking- <laughs> That's the most obvious fucking print that re is related to Kuma. Oh, fuck. Yeah, nothing's even happened yet, and I feel this wave of emotion just from the soundtrack, and... Oh, fuck. That is what it is, man. Oh. We're getting real close. We're getting real close to the backstory. Holy fuck, dude. I'm not ready. It's so good, though. It's, it's so well written. Like, oh my god. Oh shit, Kid! We haven't seen Kid in a minute since he left Wano. Oh sh- Oh nah! Oh nah. Fuck. Fuck! 
I forgot about this too. Yeah, where the fuck did they end up? Yeah, they think they shit now after they defeated Kaido and them. Oh! They went to Albaf. Oh shit! Okay, checking up on a naval branch. <laughs> Fucking garp. Goth mommy. Doll. <laughs> oh, that's right. They're tweaking because Kobe was kidnapped. Oh, he's here to pick him up. <laughs> yes, sir! The few and far between of the Navy that we fuck with, baby! Uh. Not many Navy are fucking admirable, bruh. Not many A Navy we actually fuck with, but this motherfucker we fuck with! <laughs> Let's go! He gonna save his subordinate, bro. Ah, oh, damn! I knew it was gonna end soon. Fuck, bro. That was an amazing episode, bro. That was so good. Ah, oh, dude. It just keeps getting better and better. Fuck. Alrighty guys, what another amazing episode of One Piece. That was filled with so much good stuff. We finally see Luffy and them reunite with Nami and the rest, while Zoro and Brooke are defending the ship from Luchi, Kaku, and have we have they mentioned her name yet? The blonde girl? I don't know if they mentioned it yet, so I'm not gonna say shit until they if, until they do, if they haven't said anything yet. But the blonde girl. Kaku and Luji, the part of CP0 that went up to Puck Records. They're trying to destroy Luffy's ship. Zoro and Brooke are defending it. I told I told them, I was like, bro, you better be careful. You're not going to just be able to destroy a ship like you think so easily. No, there, there's somebody there. Well, two people, but especially one that ain't going to let that slide at all. So good luck with that endeavor. I wish you the best. <laughs> but you fucking woke him up from his good sleep and tried to destroy his home of the sea so yeah y'all are y'all gonna get the smoke y'all gonna get y'all gonna catch his fate again especially kaku since they have a you know history and they went up against each other one-on-one -on -one back in enna's lobby so obviously he recognized him and kaku obviously feels some type of way he wants his get back just as much as luchi wants his get back to luffy so here we go with that and then yeah luffy and the crew met up with each other they're all on the same page they're like yo we gotta dip luffy's like yo well, come on we'll just stay online a little bit more so much cool shit they're like no bro we gotta go like as soon as possible because this is a government island cp0 is already here who knows who the fuck else is they're gonna send because they don't know kizaru's on the way and whoever the fuck else for that matter so yeah it's like a, an urgency like no we gotta go we have got to go so sorry that we can't explore more but we gotta get out of here and we already accepted you know the the uh terms with vegapunk and, and bringing him along and you know all that so like we've decided we got to get the fuck so they made up all on the same page and then we have bonnie actually getting on fucking vegapunk's vegapunk's tail and really trying to confront him and having an, an opportunity to one-on-one -on -one. And, and with nobody else getting in the way or, or any of that so she is hell-bent on finding out what the fuck the deal is with her father and why he did what he did to kuma which in her eyes vegapunk killed him because he pretty much gave up his humanity. He's not, like, for the for the most part, like, who, who knows what's going on with him right now? Because he seems like he seems like he's not under any orders or any like sort of like strict programming. He seems like he's doing something that he just needs, like he feels like he needs to fucking do. Who knows what that is that's pushing him so hard? It's it probably is linked to Bonnie in some way. You know, we can assume that much just because of like what we've been learning about Bonnie. We learn that Kuma is her father. All this stuff, right? So he's trying to climb the red line. They're like, dude, they're, the citizens are watching this like, there's no way. Like, how, how is he gonna get all the way up there? There's no way, and he's doing it by hand. 
So we saw that for a little bit, but we see Bonnie confronting Vegapunk very heavily for the first time one on one and really wanting these answers. And, and Vegapunk's just like, bro, like, I, I promised Kuma I wouldn't tell you the reason. Like, it's only going to hurt you, you know, and that, and that means that it's, it's, it's got to be something very heavy. You know what I'm saying? Very heavy. And it is. It's just a matter of when, you know, she's actually going to find out, which I think is going to be very, very soon now that she's fucking found that room that is related to Kuma. Which Vegapunk was really trying his best, like, yo, don't go in there. Obviously, he was being very fucking gullible, like, that has nothing to do with Kuma. Like, okay, bitch, why did you even say that? And then, of course, as you said that, she sees the fucking emblem on the fucking door, which is his paw print. How is that not related to Kuma, bro? <laughs> so, uh, you're not, you're not going to trigger anymore with that shit. Like, that's just so obvious, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, he she confronts him, turns him into a you know a kid, so he's not he can't like escape as easily, and he she can really just like yo you're gonna fucking answer me, stop fucking running, and so she's determined to to get that answer even if it's gonna hurt or whatever you know she has she has a right to know she she does, and even if it is gonna hurt, which it, it probably will, I mean she she deserves to know, so she's determined to find out what the the real history is and what's really going on there. And Vegapunk's worried for her, obviously, because it, it, it's going to hurt. So that's when she opens that door. You see this giant, like, ball, but, like, in the shape of a paw. Kind of, like, kind of looks like the paw that, like, Zoro took on um, for Luffy. Like, the amount of damage that Luffy took uh, during um, Thriller Bark or at the end of Thriller Bark. That, that famous mo moment where he was standing in a pool of blood and Sanji was like, what happened? And he's just like, nothing happened nothing happened never told luffy like that was like you know the agreement for kuma leaving them alone and he held up that agreement and he and and, and that goes to show like how loyal zoro is and it, it's such a beautiful moment so it kind of looks like that it's not the same color who knows what the fuck it really is but it obviously has something to do with kuma and bro just just oh dude like obviously i know what it is like her walking into that room and the soundtrack behind it and how much it was it, it was so moving where nothing hadn't even been said yet and i was already feeling like holy fuck this is gonna this is gonna be heavy bro it's gonna be really heavy and it's in a good way you know what i'm saying like it, it's it's some crazy terrible shit you know what i'm saying this backstory is a wild ride but it is so well written it's so good and i'm so excited to get into it but I'm telling you right now, bring the fucking tissues, bro. Bring the tissues. Holy shit, I'm not ready. So that is very exciting in itself. That was one of the big pivotal pieces of this episode. And then we saw a little bit of Kid. He's approaching Elbaf, apparently. Haven't seen him in a minute since he left Wano. Wano, excuse me. And yeah, bro, he's approaching the Giants Island. You better be fucking careful. And that excites me too, because there's something I mean, <laughs> We'll get into that. Uh, so yeah, I finally saw him again for the first time since Wano. And then we saw Garp. One of the few, one of the few motherfuckers of the Navy that we actually enjoy and fuck with because he's such a stand-up dude. He's related to Luffy, of course he is. He just chose the path in the Navy and he's a motherfucker who just does what he wants. Nobody can tell him what he wants to do in the Navy. Same thing with the con uh, perfect example of this episode. He's, you know, talking to Doll over uh, the phone and she's like did you get permission to get my you know some of my crew members did you do this did you do that and, she, and he's like what i need to do that <laughs> and she's like huh like you've been in the navy how long and you're not doing shit right it's like bro he he's he just bro he can do what he wants bro that motherfucker is og and is like that so he gets a pass and even if he doesn't which he's not supposed to he gonna do it the fuck anyway because he's an old badass motherfucker that's just how it works that's just how old people be or just experienced people or, you know, like that's kind of like a respect of, you know, you know, it goes back to like a trope of like respect your elders. Like he been through it all. You can't really tell him shit, bro. And even if you try to, he don't do it the fuck anyway. That's just how old people are. They're like, I've lived this life longer than any of y'all. Y'all trying to tell me what to do. Nah, <laughs> nah, fuck no. But yeah, he's uh, coming to pick up Hello Meppo and the other girl that were really worried about Kobe being kidnapped. And he's like, all right. Let's fucking go. If nobody else is going to help you, I'm going to go save my subordinate. If y'all want to come with, come to fuck with. We're going to go pick Kobe up. You know what I'm saying? And he, he that's what he's going to do. That's what he's setting out to do. He's going straight to Pirate Island, which is the fucking fortress of Blackbeard. And, you know, who knows who, who, who other, other people are there. You know what I'm saying? And he 
running straight into chaos. Like, I'm gonna go save my fucking support now. If I got, if no matter what I gotta do, I'm gonna do it. Respect. That is fucking amazing. And phew, that's gonna be exciting too. Like, bro, they're teasing, bro, they teased a lot of like crazy moments that are about to happen. Like, this is what I'm talking about with this arc specifically ever since Wano ended. There's so much happening at once. And we haven't even gotten back to Blackbeard and Law. We haven't got back to the Sabu conversation. Kuma's climbing Red Line. Garp is picking up Hell Meppo to go invade fucking Pirate Island. Bonnie's about to learn some crazy shit about her father at Egghead. Luffy and the crew are trying to escape with Vegapunk from Egghead and have a huge fucking, uh, basically, I mean, they already have bounties on their head, but like huge bounty on their head now that they're taking Vegapunk with them. And kids approaching Elboff. So much is happening at once. Oh, it's so good, bro. That's the, I, I don't know how Oda does it. I really don't. But it's it's fucking amazing. It's truly amazing. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at with One Piece. Amazing episode. 1103. Fucking wow. Really good. Uh, like the amount of teas and, you know, stuff they're setting up for ev everything that's going in what direction. All these different, you know, scenarios across the world. Oh, so good, bro. It's, it's so much is happening all at once, and it, it, and it works so well. It just keeps you locked the fuck in. Like, it's almost overwhelming, but it it works, bro. It, it keeps you engaged, like, really engaged. Like, holy shit, there's so much happening right now. So, amazing stuff. That was an amazing episode. I cannot wait for next week and can just continue. Just keep the weeks coming, baby. Keep the Saturday nights coming, bro. I, I love it. That's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. If y'all did, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. I'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.